day to all of you. Today we will be working on the 79th creation in our lesson series. First, click on the plus mark at the top of the screen and open a new tab. Next, type thunkable.com in the address bar and click the enter button. Now you have entered the Thunkable website. Click the login button at the top corner and log in to your Thunkable account. Now again, click on the plus mark at the top corner of the screen Open another tab and visit the dpcode.lk website. Click on lesson number 281. Click the start project button here. Now you have entered the project. Today we are going to create a day book using Thunkerbird website. Just like the apps we made earlier, you will love this app too. First we need to design the app. First, click the rename button in front of screen 1 in the section that shows properties of the screen called screen 1 and rename this screen as screen entry i will type screen entry here next let's change the background color of this screen i will click on the box below the background color in properties and type the code related to the color i want in this box i will type f3ec93 here okay now I need to add two columns to this screen. This way I will drag a column under layout in add components into the screen. Let's drag another column into the screen like this. Now see if both these columns have been added to the screen. No right? Column 1 is in the screen but column 2 has got added to column 1 itself. In this way I will remove column 2 from here and drag it above column 1. Okay. Now column 2 is at the top of the screen. Below that is column 1. First. Let's design column 2. I will select column 2 and click the rename button here. Let's rename this column as column title. I will type column title here. OK. Next, let's change the vertical alignment of the column as space around in properties. Next, you need to add an image and a label to this column. Let's drag an image under image in add components into the column title like this. OK. Now let's rename this image as Image Daybook. I will click this rename button and give the name as Image Daybook. Next, let's select the daybook.png image for the picture here. Give the picture resize mode as center. Now you need to add a label above this image. I will drag a label from user interface in add components into the column title like this. You can see that a label got added above the image. Now select this label and change the properties of the label as required. First, click the rename button in front of label 1 and change the name of the label to label title. I will type label title here. Next, let's give the text of the label as dbook. Give the font size as 35. Let's select brown color as the font color. Next, let's give italic for the font style. Also, click on the box below the font weight and give the font weight as bold. Okay, we are done with the column title design. Now, let's select the next column. Click the rename button here and rename this column as column details. Next, let's add two labels to this column. This way, I will drag a label from user interface in add components into the column details. Let's drag a label into the column in the same way. Okay, now select the first label. Click the rename button here and rename it as label date. I will type label date here. Next, remove the text in the label. Since this label needs to be hidden, let's make visible false. Now let's select the next label and change the property as before, let's click the rename button here and rename it as label time. I will type label time here. Next, remove the text in the label. Since this label needs to be hidden, let's make visible false. Next, we need to add a button above these two labels. I will drag a button from user interface in add components into the column details. Now, the button got added above the two labels. Click the rename button on top of properties and rename this button as button submit. Give the text as submit here. Since this button needs to be hidden at the beginning, let's make it visible false. Next, you need to add a text input above the button. This way, I will drag a text input from user interface in add components into the column details. Let's give the hint in this text input as type the note here. I will type the note here in the box below the hint. Next, we have to add a time input and a date input at the top of the column. First, I will drag a time input component from user interface in add components into column details like this. We don't need to change the properties of this component. Again, like this, I will drag a date input component from user interface 
interface in add components into the column details. You can see the date input has got added above the time input. There is no need to change the properties of this component either. Okay, now we are done with the screen entry design. Next, you need to add the second screen. I will click the plus mark in front of the screen entry here. Select blank screen from here and give next. Okay, now one more screen has got added as screen 1. Click the rename button in front of screen 1 in the section that shows properties of the screen called screen 1 and rename this screen as screen data. I will type screen data here. Next, let's change the background color of this screen. I will click on the box below the background color in the properties and type Type the code related to the color I want in this box. I will type CCEABB. Okay, now I need to add two columns to this screen. This way, I will drag a column from layout in add components into the screen. Let's drag another column into the screen like this. Now see if both these columns have been added to the screen. No, right? Column 1 is in the screen, but column 2 has got added to column 1 itself. This way, I will remove column 2 from here and drag it above column 1. Okay, now column 2 is on the top of the screen. Below that is column 1. First, let's design column 2. I will select column 2 and rename the button here. Let's rename this column as column data. Here, I will type column data. Next, you need to add a label to this column. Let's drag a label from user into interface in add components into the column data like this. Now click the rename button here and rename this label as label text. Let's give the text of the label as view your daybook here. Give the font size as 30. Let's give the code for the font color as 063F81. Next you need to change the font. For this, cursive is given as font family from advanced settings. Next, below this label, you need to add a data weaver list. This way, let's drag a data weaver list from user interface in add component into the column data. Okay, now the data weaver list has got added above the label, right? Let's drag this data weaver list down from the box showing components. Okay, now I am currently not changing any of the properties in the data weaver list. Next, let's design column 1. Now select the next column. Click the rename button here and rename this column as column back. Now we need to add a button to the column back. I will drag a button from user interface interface in add components into column back. Now the button has got added like this. Click the rename button at the top of properties and rename this button as button back. Give the text here as back to entry. Okay, we have almost finished designing the two screens. Next, you need to add a data source to this app. We will add a Google Sheet as the data source here. Therefore, first of all, we need to create the Google Sheet. Click on the plus mark at the top of the screen and open a new tab. Next time, google.com in the address bar and click the enter button. Now on the upper right side of the screen, you may see an icon like this with the nine dots. This is the Google Apps icon. Let's click on this icon. Today we need to create a Google Sheet, so let's click on Sheets. Okay, now click on the first blank sheet here and open the sheet. Now you have to design the sheet as required. First, let's rename the sheet. Currently, the name of this sheet is displayed on the top left side of the screen. It is called Untitled Spreadsheet. Let's click here and remove this name. Now let's give the name for this sheet as Daybook Spreadsheet. I will type Daybook Spreadsheet here. Okay. Next, I need to create three columns in this sheet. Let's type date in cell A1. Again, let's type time in cell B1. Let's type notes in cell C1. Now we have created the three columns as date, time, notes. There is no need to enter data in the sheet here. Let's go back to the app where we were creating on the Thunkable website. Okay, now we need to add the Google Sheet we created to this app. Let's go to the data sources section at the bottom of the box showing components. I will click on the plus mark here. From here, let's click on create new. Since we need a Google Sheet, we will select Google Sheets. Now here, click the select a sheet button at the bottom left corner. Now in this window, the spread the daybook spreadsheet we created is displayed like this. I will click on this sheet and give select. Let's click the create button from here. Now look, the Google Sheet we have added under data sources is displayed like this. Okay, there is still a little work left. Once again, let's select the data we 
will list one component that we added to the screen data. Now you can change the properties here. A data weaver list is used to display the data in a data source. Therefore, we need to connect the data source with this data weaver list. I will click on the add button in front of the data source. Select the daybook spreadsheet that we have added from here. We have got sheet 1 for the table. Next, let's select the title, subtitle as the list item layout. Next, under data bindings, you can provide which column of the spreadsheet from which you want to get data for the title and subtitle. Click on the box below get title property from column. The column names in the Google Sheet we have added will display here. Let's select date from here. As we need to provide date for the title, again click on the box below the get subtitle property from column and connect the notes column for the subtitle. OK. Now we have completely designed the two screens required for this app. Let's go to each of these screens and click on the live test button here to see how these screens are displayed. If you manage to do this, you little ones are very talented. WhatsApp your design to me on the phone number not 76812524. Tell your friends about the design. Check out this app to send to me as well as to your friends. And one more thing, join the DP Coding School Telegram group and try to be the DP Code Champ best of the week every week. Stay connected with us. Also another thing, join in our DP Coding Club and now you can start a DP Coding Club in your school. We are ready to give all the guidance for that. If you are interested in starting DP Coding Clubs in any school that has computer labs, please send a request to the principal to the email address info at dpcc.lk. Okay, let's meet again with another interesting lesson through DP Coding School. Have a good day.